Hello everyone, welcome to another short episode, one PYQ, one minute. Before we begin, we at an academy have started a test and analysis batch for our NEET PG students. So it's, it has started from 24th of July. You can still learn from your wonderful educators. You can subscribe and use my code PSM10 and get a 10% off. All right, so these are the uh, teachers who are going to teach you starting right from 24th of July till 16th of August. You can also use PSM 10 or PSM Live and get a 10% off. So what is the question for today? Population attributable risk is defined as some of one of the very important topics. So before we that, what is population attributable risk? It is a measure of, it is something which measures what? Strength of association. Strength of association in which study design in a cohort study. What is the formula for this population attributable risk? Here population attributable risk is whatever is the incidence of the disease in the total population minus incidence among non-exposed divided by incidence among total population multiplied by 100. So what is the answer over here? It is answer is D. Total population minus exposed um, sorry, the answer over here is C. Incidence in total population minus non-exposed divided by the incidence in the total population. Okay, so the answer is C. Now, what is the interpretation? What does it mean? Suppose I was studying association between smoking and lung cancer and PAR comes out to be 30%. So, what is it? It is how will I interpret this? That if smoking is eliminated, okay, how you interpret? If smoking is eliminated, all right, or modified as a risk factor, or modified as a risk factor, okay, then there will be eliminated. If smoking is eliminated or modified as a risk factor, then there will be what? There will be 30% reduction in annual incidence of annual incidence of lung cancer cases all right that is what is the meaning of population attributable risk also guys one thing which is very important this is very very important for policy makers okay so that you understand better suppose i am studying lung cancer all right so yes no, let's write it here. Lung cancer. Lung cancer, this is yes, this is no. And we are studying smoking. Present, not present. This is A, B, C, D. So, can you tell me what will be the incidence in the total population? So, incidence among total population, guys, will be what? What is the incidence among total population? A plus C by A plus B plus C plus D. You must know that. Okay, total population may incidence lung cancer to A plus C. Then there are two other measures of strength of association used in a cohort study. One is relative risk. Relative risk is incidence exposed divided by incidence non-exposed. And the other one is attributable risk which is incidence exposed minus incidence non-exposed divided by incidence exposed. What percent of lung cancer is attributed to smoking? Alright, if we have to find out incidence exposed over here. So how many are exposed? to smoking smoking say positive kitne a plus b are exposed just may lung cancer kitne may hua a and what about incidence non-exposed it is c plus d just may lung cancer kitno may hua c okay so i hope you understood this short mcq thank you so much for watching